Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut and we are starting this week with one of last week's builds. It's ready. Where's he gone, Ned? He's got the wrong car as well. He forgot to warm these up. There we go, that's better. So we've had a change in style. Normally I would say it's Monday morning, but someone's put some fancy writing around here somewhere that says it's Monday. So you already know it's Monday. And the good thing about Monday is everyone chose my rap color. This chair is trying to kill me, I'm telling ya. <laughs> it, how many times has that happened now? I'm trying to record. I oh, know, but... Honestly, like... We, he's had a problem with his chair since the beginning. We... I, don't know I know I'm put... a big fella. I, mean, I, know, I know I'm a big fella. But I, he, I, he sits down and every I, so often he'll go, he and goes like that. And it'll just out of place and then I'll just... Can't you just lock it in? No, that's the point. The, the bit that the tooth or whatever it is is obviously worn away <laughs> and it's... I'm not even going to say why it's worn away. I, I, I have put on a bit of beef, like, but that that's not... That's health and safety. He says sucking in. <laughs> I've put on... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, posture. Posture, you see. Anyway, while this clown's playing around with this. No, all the, but the media boys have got like new furniture and stuff, haven't they? New desks, new chairs. Take one of their chairs. I'll try one of them. Just take one of their chairs. Take one of their chairs. Sorry, guys. Right, yeah, my wrap colour. So last week, I gave everyone the opportunity to pick, and I'm so over the moon because everyone picked the colour that I wanted them to pick anyway. It's actually the most comments that we got. Um, it's chosen, it's ordered, and I've told the wrap team that they need to... That's a bit tall now. But they should, don't, it won't go down. Well, Literally, go you down have anymore. completely and utterly messed up all of this. Well, I think you messed up with your choice of um, furniture supply for, for the office, because this is like real, I feel a little bit upright. There's no... Dan, what chair have you got? Is that, is that all right? Is it nice? I'm like literally... Oh, there's a third I, different, no, there's a third different style, hold on. I'm literally speechless. Like, wait, 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 look, I've got to Am be I allowed to just carry, who uses this one? Tom, can I just carry on with this without him? Who? Yeah, okay. When they started? Right, so I... Well, they can have that one then, can't they? That's a brand new chair. Oh, no, see this one? <laughs> see, that's exactly what it does. <laughs> How do you lock it in place, Dan? Do you want me to get you a bean bag to support you? Like, you will oh, be... No little adjustable handles. Oh, that's better. Anyway. Actually, I think they... <laughs> Can I... We've been going too long already. It's important. I've chosen my wrap. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zip over this now because I think you're all bored. No, I've chosen better. my wrap colour. It was no, the I'm one... I'm in the game. I'm in the game. I'm in the game now. It's better. You're gonna fall out after this, <laughs> after this is finished. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm not talking to you for the rest of the day. Is that it? Yeah, We're yeah, done. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. Right, so I picked the wrap colour. Perfect. It was a popular choice. Um, it was the one that I actually wanted to do, never been brave enough to do it. And it's ordered. I've told the wrap team that they've got three days to do it because we're going to a seek we're going to a secret show on secret, Sunday. Secret, secret. Secret car. So yeah, my friend who I've known for about eight years now, DMO, he's um, he puts on a good show. Whatever he does, like, he does wherever the one where he they goes, go fast. He, he? D Max. 
Yeah, what yeah does, where we go, mean? where they go fast. fast yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, as he, fast he, as you possibly can. Yes. Like two hundred-ish mile an hour. I think so. Yeah. 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 But this is, I think this is just a static supercar yeah. meet. Hopefully he's got food there. Hopefully he's got sweets and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm going to die. No, so, so hopefully there's nice cars there and good company. So, yeah, yeah we've got that coming up. That'd be good. On Sunday. So I'm hoping that the car will be ready for then so we can give it its first out in. Um, we will give you some footage of the wrap being done, but we're going to keep that in black and white right until the end where we're going to go, ta-da, it's in this colour. And everyone's going to go, oh, you picked the wrong colour. That's a load of shit. But we're trying. We're trying our hardest. What else is happening? Oh, still You've just seen the edit of the RS6, which is fantastic in urban green. What, Dan, what was that exhaust on that car? Sound is brutal, doesn't it? It sounds brutal, yeah. So That's Ed, the first C8 of, of her Sound That Savage. Sound That yeah, really Savage, good. because it's out of, the, out of the box, it's quiet. Sounds like it? hybrid, doesn't it? But even the, the standard Milt exhaust without the decat yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, that one is going out this afternoon. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you've seen the edit for that. What, what else have we got going on this week? Oh, I'm still not happy. I'm, I'm, I'm really not comfortable. I'm, I'm fed up with this chair thing. We're going to go down to the workshop and take a look. Right, so I'm going to get an update on the Eurus now. They're making good tracks. I think it's going to be done for Friday for the show. Let's go and see. Right, so good start, no front bumper and no door. I thought it was done. It, it's not done, but it will be done. It's sort of in done, yeah. The next hour or so. Hopefully. So door will be done in an hour and then it's just for the boys to put it back together, yeah? yeah? Pretty much, that is pretty much all it's left. It looks like a lot, but it's not a lot. Cool. Right, so I know we're in black and white now, but you can see from the car, obviously we went for the satin one. So everyone that commented last week said that's a good idea what color we've gone for. Are we getting on at the back? All good? good. Nearly finished. So we went for the gloss black roof. We've left the roof gloss, which will follow on into the spoiler. We've done the back of the boot in the matte color, but are we going for black spoiler on here? Black, black, black spoiler, black spoiler, roll it down. Cool, and we've got black handles as well. Made their guy, the guy's job easier. They don't like doing handles. Then we've got the arches here, which will have the matte finish on the main arch, but we'll also have the exposed calm bit down the side. And one thing I'm undecided on, which unfortunately we won't be able to ask you on, is whether I do a bonnet stripe or not. Now there's like a Lamborghini sort of tray where we do a stripe down the middle of the bonnet and it hooks round the badge. Um, so we're gonna lay that up in gloss black, see what it looks like. And before we actually go permanent on it, we're just gonna see what it looks like. So exciting times. I reckon that they're gonna be done in the next 24 hours. So today in the office is design and R&D day. Um, I'm just about to jump into VR and have a look at the new G-Wagon XRS that we're doing. We're basically doing a special edition, a little bit like the Defender. Not sure whether it's gonna be limited numbers yet, but it's definitely gonna be like our flagship um, offering for the G-Wagon. We're working on our new Urban Oil, which is a CBD range, which is gonna cover uh, CBD oil and also like muscle rubs and like essential oils and things like that. So that's pretty exciting. What else are we working on? New Range Rover. Um, we've started to build in our bumpers on the new Range Rover. Not got designs yet, but we'll give you an update on the screen of that in a moment. But for now, I'm gonna jump into Virtual World to check out the G-Wagon XRS. All right, so I'm a bit away from the car here. So we jump forward by pressing the button. It brings us into shot. So we've got covered on this, basically a replacement front bumper, upgrading from the last one, which incorporates our new square DRLs and a much more aggressive front end. This is going for like a real sort of aggressive look to the G63. Full wide track, we've got new bonnet vents which pop up rather than go down. Uh, we've also worked on replacement arches showing a lot more exposed carbon than we do at the moment with some louvres on the back. This is the one bit that me and Damien are not sure about, so we're gonna work on that and refine that to get it to go with the rest of the car. And then to finish off, we'll get a new rear diffuser, much more aggressive to match the front lip. And then at the top, we're gonna redesign the roof spoiler, but with some aggressive uplifts on the, on the top of that as well. So yeah, great project. Should be going live on this within 
probably the next sort of three months, I would have thought. We're almost, almost there. So yeah, exciting times. Okay, so Vogue update. So basically what, what we start by doing is, Damien's done a couple of different renders. We've got a, a futuristic concept version. Just zoom in on that. We've also got what we tend to do historically where we get you know, a, a, a centre mouthpiece and some side intakes. I think what we need to do is we, we're going to try and come up with something new for the Vogue, but not go, you know, too out there because you've got to remember it's still a gentleman's, you know, luxury SUV. So we don't want anything too garish. It gives us the ability to see if you look from this this angle in particular, it, it gives us, you know, the ability to see the, the depth of our eyebrows and yeah, things like that. Yeah. Not these eyebrows, obviously <laughs> the ones on the car. And also when you look across the car as well, yeah, and you can see how much it sticks out, yeah, can't you? Yeah, stuff like that's best evaluated inside VR, really. Most important thing for us is to set the parameters of, of what we need to do. For example, just here, we need to make sure that it fits as good as a factory bumper. So we'll take these surfaces and this, this element always replicates the standard yeah, bumper, doesn't it? You generally get these surfaces that we're going to make. This, this is surface to within quarter of a mil. So, and, then and then it matches the up, yeah. And we build off from that, blend into this surface, which is just within a quarter of a mil of the scan. So you just know that you're going to get a perfect flush. All the way through, that's right. Yeah, so. you can see there, can't you? So you use a little zebra tool to, to, to basically see how it flows through. So the surfaces are, are really clean and crisp. And then what we'll do, we'll, we'll flow from what is essentially the OEM bumper style into our design. It's just important for us to make sure that the fit and finish of, the, of, the, of our product is paramount. The, the elements that we cover off are tow, parking sensors, camera, ACC, and airflow, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much from the front. The back's easy. The back's, best. The back's the easy bit. So, so yeah, more updates coming soon, guys. Hi ladies and gents, my name's Dan. I manage our parts and conversions team with my partner Lloyd. And today I've got a couple of special bits around me. Same customer, come into us a few times before for a few special bits on his car. This time he said to me, Dan, I need some new wheels on the Cullinan and I want to change up the Hurricane a little bit. So Cullinan, brand new UV5 forged wheel, finished in a gloss black, 24 inch as it should. Hurricane, 20 inch front NDS1, 21 inch rear by 12 and a half inches wide. Again, gloss black, I like to keep them uniform. Awesome two car garage. Nice bit of weekday cruise, weekend fun in the Hurricane. You get the sound, the drama, a bit more calm and reserved. Uh, these cars are finished now, ready to be collected by the customer and he's gonna love them. our new UV5. You would have seen some photos the other day on Instagram. It's so gangsta. It is it's, gangsta. It, like, that's the only way to describe it. This is obviously a black badge colour then. Um, so it looks fairly mean already anyway, but wheels, wheels make a car. They do, but the, fir the first comment with this 
is one of the one of the companies that obviously detail one of our oh the detailers cars. the detailers we announced this wheel and the first thing was great mate thanks for that detailers nightmare so i mean like we said in the, in the post vossen are their slogan is engineered art mm. and this is you know every time i give them a design it's we try and break the barriers each time and the owner of Vossen basically just like like literally puts his head in his hands when I give him a design because it's always complicated. It's always on the milling machine longer than everything else. But there are there are quite a few multi, very like a lot of multi-spoke wheels yeah. on the market for, for Rolls Royces, but these are different in the fact that they're um, they, they've got a kink in the middle of the, yeah. the middle of the spot. I tried to do something different with a lot more detail in there. They take the Rolls Royce floater, they're available in 22 and 24 inch for Wraith all the way up to Cullinan, Ghost, oh. Phantom. They will um, form part of our wide track kit with obviously a wider offset. These ones have been set for the standard offset. But this owner is thinking about the kit. He's already it? said yes. Oh, has he? Yeah, he said yes. So, so this will be the first black badge that we do. Um, I've never been inside one of these before, so I, I, I've I want, I want, you, I've, I've I want got, you to show me around, Lenny. I've got to show you. Come with me. Let's get in. Come with me. After you. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's a lot of carbon. Look, even a carbon tread plate. See, it's this is making my Feng Shui not work. Different, different, different carbon. I, I know, yeah, I know, which is surprising, really, but... I, I think I'm going to have a word with Chris, our ops director, to see whether we can get this weave to go on the outside. Ooh. So we can match it up on black badge. We do this. What weave would you on... call that? Like lattice or? Yeah. Like... Well, I'm guessing I press this. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. that does something. Do people got... still smoking cars? No, I don't think so. You got shotgun. Oh no, umbrella there. Yeah. I right. mean, look, that's never been used, which is good. Right. Look, it's never been used. Um, before you step in this, do you want to change your shirt? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because it looks like you've got baby sick down your shoulder. Like this has been bothering. I, I haven't said anything so far, but this has been bothering me all day. Cam, get on that t-shirt. Like, what so it, I mean, it, look at that. Apparently, that's that's how that's meant to be. He actually. We're supposed that to be like reviewing that. a car. No, no, but that's but that's really bothering me. Right, jump in. Sorry, mate. I can't. I can't hear you. <laughs> I can't get. How, yeah, just, does the centre console go up? Just, I'll just get in like a normal car. Oh, my God. I was about to close this for you, but you can you can do it yourself. Apparently, there's a door button. There you go. Bosh. Oh, oh you, you have to hold it no, down. you got to keep your finger on it. Can I get someone to hold this button down for me? You're not supposed to do anything when you're Such in a Rolls Royce. Such a princess. Voice. Wow, that's amazing. Right, no one, no beautiful. one opened, no one opened my door for me, so I'll just get in myself. I, I, I need to put the wind. Ah. <laughs> Can someone turn it on, please? You're such a diva. It must be the Rolls Royce. <laughs> what a lovely place to be. Right, I've got a few things to show you. Rolls Royce Theatre. Is this you selling it to me? Yeah. I'll press your little, little button. That didn't come out. There oh, you go. That, um, How many motors are in this car? Everything is motorised. Yeah. That's carbon as well. So you stick your finger on there, that closes that. Yeah. Now, interestingly, our client that has brought this to us, every single car he has, he puts a Starlight roof liner in. Now, the one, it is, can't now it? the one car that really should have a Starlight roof liner because it's synonymous with Rolls Royce, and he hasn't got it in, but I assume he, I assume I he will. I know what he'll do now. Now we've mentioned this, he will watch this back. Yes, and he'll get one round the outside. Oh, he will, yeah. Yeah, yeah like all this bit and, and down yeah, there. So he's, he's going to starlight here. I can already see it happening. Right. Can you starlight this though? Because yeah. this has obviously got a lever upgrade. It's yeah. not like yeah, the no, Alcantara. Yeah, no, you can. Right, check this out. Not motorised. See that? That's a fridge. Yeah. Oh, that, oh. that looks, wait there, that looks like a BMW one. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Mr. Detail. All right, grab your little glass there, mate. There you go. Now you're driving along. You know what? It's just chilled. It's like being on British Airways. Yeah, it's or lovely. Something like that. So you're driving along. You're thinking, well, where am I going to put this? There's, there's got to be a button for that. Hasn't it? Oh, look at that. Look. It's look. not even a normal look cup at that. holder. It's a, it's a glass slot. How how nice is that? But if you're a bit of a chav like me and you've got like a can of Stella. Or something like that instead of some. Oh, you got some more ones you underneath. Got me, you got my Stella can holder there and all. So it's yeah, so posh, isn't it's it? lovely, isn't it? Just little touches like that. Bottoms up, Lenny. Cheers, mate. We could do with a little champagne, shouldn't we? 
What's that, what's that sound like? That's got a note to it. Do it again. Rich! <laughs> <laughs> it's, meant, the, it's the chime for having more money than God. Wealth! <laughs> that, that's like every time, just a different note. Beautiful. So yeah, nice little details. This is probably the most luxurious car I've ever seen. It's comfortable. What's that dial that's for? To, that's to do oh, is the, it the same yeah, for the and theater? you can change, so that's the right screen, that's the left screen, so you just, so that's on yours at the moment. Does it? And then you control it. Ah, oh, so you're doing and the then, dial for the screen. Yeah, and then you press left, and that's my screen. Huh. Very posh. What a lovely thing. Yeah, so this customer's obviously just said yes to having the, the kit on this as well. Mm -hmm. So this will be the first black badge that we do. It's pretty exciting. I wonder whether we can... You know what, would you go for that on the outside of the car? It's a little bit interior only, that weave. Yeah. It doesn't, it's, it's, it's a lovely pattern, but it doesn't look like carbon to me. Not, I'm a bit of a traditionalist when it comes to, like, the, I just think it needs to be like a certain What, like two by two twill? So yeah. not like the four by four that I put on my car, then, no, no. My car's done, the color. It was amazing as well. I don't know whether we was gonna reveal that this week. We might reveal it next week now. I'm not sure. Okay. Is that the end of the, this, what are we, 51? Urban Uncut 51? Well, we need to end this video on a bit of a high. Um, we're in a Cullinan and we finished our Cullinan. So we should go and see that now. We're Why done. Why are we whispering now? We don't need to whisper. Oh, yeah. right. So we're done guys. <laughs> we are absolutely done. And there's only one silhouette that this could be. Um, the Cullinan is done. The, Obviously, normally I would end up getting excited. We put a teaser out last night. It was a little video. We had some great responses from people who have Cullinans already and people have been waiting for this. Normally I'd get excited and post a picture on my iPhone. I've been embargoed to not do anything like well, that at we've, all. We've sort of like- The guys behind the camera have basically it, strictly, yeah. it's done and I'm not allowed to tell anyone for two weeks. Yeah. We have a launch date, which is the 10th of June. Between now and then, we will do full creative on this. And the biggest question I have is actually for you and for <laughs> no one else, have I convinced you? Because you said we shouldn't kit a colour now. I've always been very much of the opinion that Rolls Royces shouldn't have body kits. You're I'm a Rolls Royce fan. I'm, I'm a huge, it's one of my favourite <laughs> brands. I love Rolls Royces, Raves, Dawns, Cullinans. And you know they do look so good, just lowered on wheels with black pack. Yeah, they do, and I, I, I don't disagree yeah, with that. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. Um, so when you said you were going to do the Cullinan, and seeing what our competitors have done, I was a little bit nervous. I'll be honest, because you know, you you with everything else that you do, you you, you know you've smashed the design except the Velar. <laughs> but everything else has been a, a win, and I was I was worried about this not only because it's a Rolls Royce, but also the huge financial. Project, yeah, so this has cost circa quarter of a million pounds to tool. And some might argue we're a little bit late to the table because mm. other manufacturers have bought theirs out. But the but first no, I, two cars have sold. Yeah. Um, the next kit is sold mm -hmm. to Europe. The fourth kit is sold to the customer with the black badge yesterday. Yeah. And the fifth kit is also sold to your man in Brazil. Amazing. So we've sold five kits and people haven't even seen, mm -hmm. they've not even seen it yet. Well, that, and it's the same with the XRS. You know, people have got that trust that when they've Urban bring out trust, a new yeah. product, that it's going to be awesome no matter what. But no, I, I, and I'm not just saying this because you're my mate and my boss, but you have, well, you and the design team have absolutely yeah. smashed it. I absolutely I'm glad it took it. so long, to be honest with you. So, I'm just gonna kind of leave no, you. No, no. I, can't, can, Tom, am I allowed to show one little bit? The tiniest, the tiniest. Just, just, just. Please don't give too much away, because this is like, because this is the first. You this is the, because this is the first launch that we've. This is the first proper launch. Do you remember? <laughs> leave it. Do you remember? Do you remember the? I can't remember what it was. I'm I think so it was, excited. It was like you know we bought out a T6, the T6.1 van, and you just like snap. And then on Instagram, so like with no product launch, <laughs> this is our I first. can see him. Uh, we've got a media uh, manager at home. We've got a team of media. We're going to do a proper serious launch on this. I know. Oh, you can see those Instagram can, posts popping up and him just looking uh, at his phone and going, idiot. <laughs> right, go, go on, just give him a little just taste. A, a, a little taste. So we know it's 100% carbon. We know it houses our new square DRL light. 
It's got some beautiful Zun Sport How mesh behind showing? it. How much is he showing? I'm, I'm nervous. It's... Okay. I'm, I'm doing my own little boomerang maybe just, here. Maybe just give him a little bit, maybe a tiny little bit of the, the splitter. Oh. It's, yeah. Okay. It's opulent beyond I think that's opulent. enough. I think that's enough. Just to overview it, it's full wide body. It's, it's got lower seals. It sits 30 to 40 mil wider on each side. It runs 24 inch wheels. We've got two stars. We've got a lovely exposed rear carbon wing, lower deck spoiler. Some real nice billets which mirror the, the rear light. The, the rear light. Yeah. So I took the rear light cluster and I literally pivoted it and right, made stop, it. Stop, that's enough. You give it enough. enough. You give it enough. That is enough. You can tell I'm excited, guys, but <laughs> 10th of June, all will be revealed. So, following on from the Cullinan. Your car's ready. <laughs> the Urus. <laughs> did, I just, did, did I just do that little excited sound? Are you excited? Because well, I've only seen, I've seen the, obviously I've seen the colour go down. The rat bay. I've seen the colour go down and bits and bobs get put on and around, but I've not seen it on the deck. Complete, done, clean. Sat in lowered mode and clean. So I've not seen it. Let me tell you something. It's awesome. Let's not, let's not waste well, time. Well, this, this, this actually wasn't my choice. It, the colour was one of my choices. But everyone in the comments, I think this was, I think this was the most by about three or four. Yeah. People okay. were saying go for the Tiffany blue, but obviously that's done. Yeah. We didn't. Are you ready? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. cool does that look? You know what? Those th those wheels. Everyone was on the fence about them yeah. last time, but. Look at the look at they the They just size. look so much bigger. Bigger. And what I love, I mean, the, the, the brake calipers on these and the, the discs on these are huge. Yeah. And these wheels show all of that. But what I love about the colour, when you first said, I'm thinking about like a, a, a brown as well, brown. maybe. I was yeah. like, what are you going on about? Then you showed me a few samples. I was like, warmed up a little bit. Now I've seen it on the car. It's it's not brown brown. There's a little bit of bronze. There's yeah. a little bit of gold. And when the sun shines on it, there is a, a bronzy shimmer. Well, it, it, even though it's it's matte, it's, there's still a metallic yeah. in the wrap. But it goes perfectly with the yellow as well, because that was the yeah. other thing you had I to was, consider. I was concerned about the, the blue. The, the Tiffany blue with the yellow just wouldn't have worked. It would just look like a dog's dinner. But stunning, and obviously the four x four twill, the chunkier twill as well. Which you was also like Again, thinking, nah. I should just shut up and just let you crack <laughs> on. But yeah, no, you see much more awesome. lines with it rather. Than a, rather than a weave, it's just something different. The car's quite big, it, it lends to it quite well. I, rather than going fully exposed arches, I've gone for um, obviously coloured arches, so you can see so you've the width left of the, the car. Obviously left the fine line around the... the, the yeah, to just to expose the arches. Yeah, so yeah. it looks like yeah. factory but wider yeah. arches. But no, it's, I, I think satin and matte just work so well with Lambos because the Lamborghini design on Urus's Hurricanes. It looks like and paint though, doesn't it? It's just, they're so angular, aren't yeah. they? And, and satin just brings out. Picks up, pops the lines. Yeah. But it does look like some sort of like factory paint. That's why I like it because it still looks classy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want anything garish. There was a few comments last week that said, I don't, I don't want it to look like a quality street, you know. <laughs> but it, it does, if you get like a like a big chrome, it, do, it does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. So. so so yeah, so that, that's it done. I know the guys did an edit on that on it yesterday, so we'll just go to the edit now.